city of Bakersfield banning marijuana distribution last month, and now local law enforcement officers taking more action to close those shops down. Yeah, 23 ABC's Chloe Nordquist has the breakdown of those search warrants and the steps that law enforcement is now taking. Chloe? If you take a look at this map with me here, you can see the 10 locations that police served search warrants on last week and raided over a span of two days. Now, one of these locations is where a suicide occurred during one of those search warrants. Just last week, Bakersfield police served search warrants at 10 marijuana dispensaries within city limits. New court documents show BPD's Narcotics Violators Unit was surveying the pot shops before the raids and saw people coming out of the shops with containers that were consistent with marijuana sales. As a result of the searches, officers seized over 650 pounds of marijuana, 340 pounds of edible marijuana products, 15 grams of cocaine, four firearms, dozens of pot plants, and over $20,000. Search warrant documents breaking down what officials confiscated. The city says medical marijuana shops have been illegal in Bakersfield since 2013. In September, the city expressed interest in banning commercial cannabis activity altogether. This includes manufacturing, cultivation, and distribution. Officials said all of the search locations were previously made aware they were illegal by the city attorney's office and were given the chance to stop operating. Six felony and 14 misdemeanor arrests were made while the warrants were carried out. Now, both the city and the county banned the medical marijuana industry completely over the past few weeks, wanting nothing to do with cultivation and distribution, meaning medical card holders will have to get marijuana outside the county in the future. A full breakdown of these state, county, and personal use laws is on our website, turner23.com. In the Live Center, Chloe Nordquist, 23 ABC.